In this program, we're going to learn about animal skeletons. The skeleton is a part of an animal's body, which forms the supporting framework of the body and gives shape to the body. In animals, there are three major types of skeletons. They are hydrostatic skeleton, endoskeleton, and exoskeleton. Hydrostatic skeletons are found in soft-bodied invertebrates, like sea anemones, worms, and jellyfish. Such animals have a fluid-filled cavity called a coelom, which is surrounded by muscle wall. The pressure of the fluid pressing against the muscle wall provides the animal with rigidity, which acts as a skeleton. The hydrostatic skeleton gives the animal structural integrity and allows limited mobility. The exoskeleton is that type of skeleton which lies outside the soft parts of the body. Insects, like all arthropods, have an exoskeleton comprised of rigid plates that provide protection and support. However, it is jointed so that it does not restrict the movements and mobility of the animal. In insects, the exoskeleton is made up of a hard, slightly flexible carbohydrate called chitin. Crustaceans, like lobsters and crabs, have an exoskeleton too. Its exoskeleton is divided into several distinct sections, making mobility a little easier. The exoskeleton is made mainly from chitin and crystalline substances such as calcium carbonate. This makes the plates that make up their exoskeletons very hard and rigid. In order to grow, arthropods have to shed their whole exoskeleton at once. A new exoskeleton is produced beneath the old one. The process of shedding the old exoskeleton is called molting. The third kind of skeleton is the endoskeleton. It is a bone or cartilage-based skeleton that exists wholly inside of an animal's body. All vertebrates, including humans, have endoskeletons. The endoskeleton gives shape and support to the body and has bones that meet at joints. Muscles attached to the bones provide a means of movement and mobility. A skeleton also protects a body's soft organs and provides attachment sites for muscles.